hello once again, everybody. Little update on what's going on out here. Um, nothing special here. My little cabinet came in. So, I got a little cabinet. Kind of cute. Yes, I said cute. Put your shit in. Um, I thought this was a paper towel holder, but it's like just a towel holder. And then the sink will be probably up in this area, so it'll have room to hang behind it. And so I put all the sink parts in here for now, so I can tie it in. Yeah. So it's getting there. Um, I didn't have to go to the Amish to get one by fours because I got them sitting right there. I thought I had to go, but I don't. Because they're right there. There's a 2x4 and then there's two 1x4x12s. And it's raining out and of course we're overflowing. So she's uh... Yeah, we just had a little downpour. And the water's just pouring out. Ooh, it's nice. I could probably take a shower in that. Yep. Coming out nice and clean too. Nice clean water. Yeah, it's like just I don't know, I'd probably say it's like 72 degrees maybe. How's my little door doing? Pretty good, getting a little dirty on it, but cool. So she's a full. And these are buckling. Yeah, they're popping apart. Yeah. The, the tank's expanding and it's popping these off. That's what's happening. But I just go back around and readjust them. You know. So what I'm going to do right now is um, start taking this apart. Unbolting shit. Getting it situated. And, uh, and like that. I've got probably between five days to a week. And then just to, just to goof around, but I'm, I, I got so much shit done today. It's unbelievable. So I got some free stuff today. And I have some very heavy things on the roof of my freaking car. I can't get off alone. And there they are. Those are four inch, or yeah, four inch, four by eight solar water heater panels. So, yeah. So there's glass in them, and they're effing heavy. They're probably, yeah, this is, this is glass side right here. So there's three of them up there, and uh, they all tied together. The guy didn't want them. He did something. And while I was there, he gave me a, a wheel horse, a Toro, riding lawnmower. So it's just like Andy's lawnmower headquarters or something around here. It's turning out to be. But this has got a lifter issue, problem with the lifter, which is a big deal. So, I'm sure somebody, eventually, when I get this thing running, there's a Toro, 1644 HXL. And you can see the, it's leaving a nice shiny rainbow. So, I brought that home in the trailer with my new winch set up. I didn't even use a winch, we just pushed it on. But these are freaking heavy. Um, yeah, those are freaking heavy. I gotta wait for help to get them off. But who the hell wouldn't take them for free? Come on, Jesus Christ, they're solar heaters, solar water heaters. The guys to get free hot water. You know what those are worth? That size, they're freaking huge. Four foot by eight foot. So, they're gonna sit right here. And they're going to come up about right here. And they'll fit right in. Perfect. So, that is where they are going to go. Junior, where are you going to go? Huh? So, I'm waiting for... I'm waiting for my true buddy to show up. The guy that's always there when I need a hand. My buddy Kyle. You know... He's the kind of guy you just fart and he's here. It's like, damn. <laughs> so, 
That's cool. So let's see. I'm still waiting for the sink to come in. And I asked Ching Long Fu Poon Tang Ching Chang Ching 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 where the freaking hell is the goddamn sink? You know? So, yeah. I've already figured out how I'm going to lay that out. So this is nice still in here. Put the fan going. Let's see, how's that water looking in there? Man, I still got that. I still got that. I just pissed look. Really? Flush it all down. Yeah, just, uh, I don't know. Dirty sediment in the tank. I gotta clean that out again. I don't get it, but this is some pretty good shit. I put that uh, 78 in here. Oh, I can smell that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, see it down there? All that dirty. That dirty coming in. bubbles that dirty should not be coming in because I have a filter at the house if I had a wet and dry vac I would just suck all this out of here but last time I just stirred it up and you know I don't know it's probably what I'll do later is I'll shut it off look at this 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 thing's even corroding already how the hell is that already corroding I just got Clorox in my cut Ow. Rusty shit. Maybe that Clorox isn't any good for this. Let's see. I'm trying to remember what filter I put in at the house. Damn it. I'm getting that drippy crap all over the effing place. Rusty shit. You know, this toilet's only been used a couple times. Look at that. Slimy river. Damn it. I don't know why everything's getting so rust looking. I don't know what the hell's doing that. It's got to be that filter. If, uh, wow, the chlorine is so pungent, it just burns your eyes. So what I'll do is I'll look under the house, and if, if I do have, which I can't remember, if I had that, uh, carbon filter in there that bitch is going in the garbage because if I remember right last time I put a carbon filter in it did that and even with no filter in it my water in the house doesn't even do that so yeah the well, worst case I just take the filter out that's all I don't know but if it's a carbon one that's causing the problem uh, it's always something so hey buddy Hey, you didn't make it in the live video, did you? Yeah, I never made it in the live video. Oh, God. You know, I can swing them, swing them, and then stand it down. I can move them myself, but I'm going to be blowing my nuts off. And I don't want them blown off like that. So, yeah, they'll just sit here. Um, I got my propane tank holder coming. Which just can interfere with that. So my propane tank holder, I'll probably put it over here. Somewhere's up in here. You know, for now. And then I can always move it back around the corner if I got to. Alright. What do you think? Is that enough? Did I talk enough? Did he flap his gums enough today? Yeah? Yep. None like getting sweating your dick off and then... Going back out, taking a shower, get nice and clean, and then come and do it all over again, you know. Alright, well, I'm going to look into what's going on with this water here. So I'm going to look, take the door off under the house and see what that filter looks like. And if it's shit, then I'm going to just take the filter right out of it. Just flush it out. I'll do it that way. I'll just run like the sink or something just to flush the lines out. Alright, I'll catch you later. Have a good one. Well now, we did some cleaning, cleany weeny. Got everything on, the refrigerator's on, microwave's on, little lights on for nightlight. That chick's on my lap. 
Uh, I'm still waiting for the goddamn sink. Little cabinets there, blah, blah, blah. Uh, cleaned all this out here. Look at the plow. Now look how I did this shit. So the plow frame is on the hook on this side, and it's double strapped, and it's hanging off this hook, and I got a bumper in here. The plow. <laughs> the plow is actually bolted to that umbrella tube. So if you look closely, there's a big ass bolt right there, and there's a big ass bolt right there. So that's actually bolted to the machine. And I did go a little crazy with the straps because, I don't know, I strapped these up because who knows, is it going to be a bumpy ride? I don't know. But so I put, uh, I put his extra control valve in here, his remote with the wire. And then he's got his remote for the, for the winch, which I hope he knows that to make this remote work, you push and hold the on and off button until the blue light comes on like that. And then you can play the, with your winch. And then when you're done, push and hold it again, and it'll go out. Or if you forget to shut it off, it'll shut itself off, as far as I know. And I think it's a 2032 battery. So, um, I got everything on here now. Everything's secured, strapped down, and it's ready to go. And it just fits out this door. So, I mean, so it's probably like six foot five. I made it the same height as, as that. So, so I got this double strap. This is hanging on this hook. I got a pad here so it doesn't vibrate and rip the paint off. I got another strap around here just because I'm having a strap happy time. And another strap here to hold it in place. Um, this didn't need straps. I strapped the shit out of it anyways, and I put another strap from the frame underneath it on heavy cardboard and brought it back up. I mean, look at the size of the freaking bug. I got half inch goddamn bolts going through there. So when he unbolts this, I got to tell him, have a jack or something underneath this, because that bitch is heavy. And in order for me to get the pin out, the pivot pin, I had to drill a hole in the bottom, and I had to drive it out, because there's a hole there. I had to drive the pin out, and the pin's a little bit bent. You can see the pin here. It's a little bit bent from ramming shit, so it gave me a little bit of a hard time. And what I did was I left everything just the way it is. So two washers on the bottom, one washer on the top when you put it back together. These are just how they are. I made these out of aluminum. I put the slice in them intentionally so grease can pass through these and, uh, and like that. Um, so one of these, yeah, you see how I welded, I welded the braces in so you're not just pressing on a thin steel, you know. So the winch is on tight. Everything's good. This thing's ready to go. And you can, what's the nice about it is you can still get on and drive it. You know, you're not, I was going to mount the plow underneath. I'm like, it wouldn't work. I'm, where the hell is I going to do this? Where the hell am I going to do that? And uh, so it worked out just great. And... I'm done. I've done so much shit. I used a brand new, these are all brand new Harbor Freight straps, so maybe I lost some money there. I lost some time because I didn't plan on taking all this shit apart. But, you know, that's me. I go the extra mile for people. And, uh, yep. <laughs> Got you. We're ready for that, were you? You know what's funny is, I chase him around. He likes that leaf blower, because it's softer. And, but when I'm weed whacking, he's right next to me. I'm vacuuming, he's right next to me. He doesn't care all that racket. But, so I just went around, I changed all of my, my spider traps. I put a new one there, a new one there. So, I put the spider traps all over, I replaced them all, they're all full. They're full. I put four in there. I usually get them right around the corner, so there's one hiding there in the corner behind the chair. And, uh, yeah. So I had that Monster Energy sign that I was going to stick on the back of one of these and decided not to because the first one I put on came out like shit. So I'm like, hey, you know something? I'll staple it over all those seams in the wall right there because I was a freaking doofus. And I, uh, you know... 
I wired all my seams up in the same spot like a doofus. I don't know why I'm dusting this off, but I'm, I guess I'm dusting it off. So, yeah, that little tube there, that was for uh, umbrella. So, when the guys are out mowing out in the golf course, they had to have a cute little umbrella so their little bald heads don't get burnt. Anyways, yeah, I keep saying Reddington. It's Redding, Redding, California. I don't know why the hell I kept saying that. Reddington. It's like, you know, the guy says, there is no Reddington. I'm like, okay, maybe I'm a retard. He said, yep, that's probably it. So my buddy Kyle came over. Help me out. We got uh, all these big solar panels off. Generator's barking at nothing. So we got them here. These, look at the size of these goddamn things. So they're going to sit there now. And I got them glass side in, so, you know. Yeah, so it's glass. And it's that, uh, that weird type of glass. My God, these are heavy. They're really cool looking inside too. I got a close view inside and I'm like, wow, that's really cool. So, I'm closing up shop. It's, what the hell? I don't even know what time it is. But, I'm gonna put my car back in the garage. Uh, then I gotta go take another freaking shower. Cause now this shirt, the fresh shirt I put on is now as soaked as the other one that I had on. Then I gotta put the garbage out, then I can go in and relax and call it a day. So, now I got two projects over there to, to dick with. We'll see. When I get bored, I'll drag something in and mess with it, you know, but. All right, everybody, have a good one. And I'll catch you later. Bye.